Over the past month, Anthropic has released a ton of secret updates to Claude Code that you would only find out about if you were following specific Twitter accounts. In this video, I'm going to go over all those secret updates that you probably missed that will completely change how you use Claude Code and make it way better. If you use Claude Code, this is going to be the most important video you watch this month. I promise you, whether you're a beginner or a pro, you will be using Claude Code completely differently after these 10 updates. Let's get into it. So this one is a great one, and that is the ability to resume past Claude Code sessions. If you're anything like me, you've had tons of conversations conversations with Claude Code that has context you don't want to miss out on. You reset your computer and all that context disappears. Well, no more. If you type into your terminal Claude dash dash resume, hit enter, it will bring up all your past sessions you had with Claude Code for the project you're working on. So for the sake of demonstration in this video, I'm going to show you this project management tool I'm building out right now. It helps me manage all my projects in Claude Code. So I have all my past sessions here that I've had with Claude. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit resume on my past session and all the context I had and all the conversation I had from that session is now completely resumed. So now I don't have to go back and fill in Claude code with all the past context every time I reset my computer or my Visual Studio code. This is massive and this is going to make it so much easier to get back into past conversations you have and not miss out on any of the context you had before. I put the command to resume your sessions down below in the description. All the commands and all the changes I go over will be down in the description below. So feel free to pause and copy and paste that into like your Apple notes. Okay, so say we resumed our past session and there's a ton of context in there. When you get a lot of context into Claude code and starts filling up your window, it actually can make Claude hallucinate a lot more than it does before. I hear a lot of people on X complaining right now, oh, Claude's getting worse. No, that's a skill issue. They're just not managing their context well. But how do you manage your context better if you start seeing worse? performance with Claude. Well, what you want to do is use their brand new slash command slash context. This is going to help you visualize what is currently in your context right now. So I'm going to run that. And again, slash context, I'll put down below and you'll be able to see here now in this really nice visualization, what is taking up your entire context window. So you can see here, the system prompt is taking up a good amount of context. That's because I have a ton of Claude rules, all the tools we're using, the messages we've done so far, this is actually taking up the most context uh, with 32% is the past messages. So if I wanted to free up context right now, I would just go in here and I would do slash clear and that would clear the message history since right now it's taking up the most context. So if you start to see degraded performance in Claude, do slash context, see what's taken up all the space. Maybe it's your system message. Maybe it's your past messages in the conversation and then you can take care of it from there. If it's the past messages, just do slash clear just like I did here. Which takes me to the next big update that they released in the last few weeks, and that is slash stats. It's another brand new slash command. So one of the biggest complaints I hear about Claude as well is people don't know how many tokens they've used up at their plan. Are they getting to the end of their plan? Are they going to have to upgrade to a more expensive plan? Well, now you'll be able to see exactly how much usage you've had in your plan. If you do slash stats, it will show you all your usage for that time period. You can see all your interesting stats here. How many tokens you've used? So are you getting to your limit on tokens? your streaks, how many sessions you've had, your active days, your peak hours. You can even hit tab and see the different models you've been using. As you can see, once Opus dropped, it was game over. I was using Opus tremendously more. So you can see a lot of your usage here, how many tokens you've used, and if you're getting up to your current limits and if you need to upgrade or not. Slash stats, keep tabs on that. It's also just fun to see your numbers and see how much you're using Claude and which models you're using. If you run slash stats right now, let me know down below what your usage looks like. How many days in a row have you used Claude code? I'd be really curious to see. So a second ago, we were talking about resuming sessions. This is something you need to be doing often because if you're anything like me, you're also doing multiple sessions at once. I like to have multiple Claude codes open so I can work on different features at the same time. Well, one really awesome thing they just added in their recent holiday updates is the ability to actually name sessions so that when you resume old sessions, like I showed you at the beginning of this video, you can see very clearly what you were doing in each session because you can give it those custom names. All you need to do to name your sessions is do slash rename and then give it a name for your session. So for this one, I was working on the Kanban board of our project management. So I'm going to call it Kanban. 
and I'm going to hit enter. And now our session is now called Kanban. So if I go to a new terminal here and I do Claude slash slash resume and hit enter, we can see our new name session Kanban that we were using just a second ago with all 246 messages. So this is really important to do. If you're doing multiple sessions, which I think you should be doing when you're waiting for one session to build out a feature, it's really good not to get distracted, not to look at TikTok, open up another session, start Start working on another feature, make sure to give it its own name with slash rename. And again, all these slash commands, all these updates down below in the description so you don't have to forget any of these. The next update they made is great if you often make mistakes when working with Claude code. This is something I do a lot. I do a lot of experimentation. I have a change around features to see how it works. And sometimes I mess up and I give it a bad command. So for instance, in this project management tool, I wanted to experiment with the colors and notes. I made it blue. I don't like the blue. It's not really standing out against the black background. So let's rewind this. In a brand new update to Claude code they just released, you can now rewind super easily any changes you made that were mistakes. You do this by hitting escape twice, double escape, and it goes back and it gives you these rewind options. And what I can do is I can go back and I can say rewind to the rename Kanban, which was one step before the changing of the colors of the notes. I'm going to hit enter on that and I'm going to say restore the code and the conversation. So it's going to forget any of the conversation after and it's going to restore all the code and I'm going to hit enter and boom, just like that, we are back and it's at the rename Kanban and I can hit enter on that and we are back to that one step before changing all the colors to blue. This is amazing. If you make mistakes often, if you experiment, you should be experimenting a ton. Ever since they released this double escape feature, it's given me a lot more freedom to try new things. So double escape, an awesome way to rewind if you make any mistakes at all. The next update is a big one and it brings back a much loved feature that's kind of been experimented with, taken out, put back in. Well, it's fully back. UltraThink is totally back into Claude code and you need to be using it. What UltraThink is, is the ability to force Claude code to work work extra hard on tough problems. And I've been using this a lot. And let me tell you, you get way better results when using ultra thing. So as you can see here, I want to add a calendar to our app. I want it to be beautiful. I want Claude to work extra hard on it. So I said, add a beautiful calendar section to our app using the design skill ultra think about this. And for the record, if you don't have the design skill yet, I'll put a link down below. You need to install the Claude design skill. I'm thinking about doing an entire video dedicated to Claude skills. If you want that, let me know down in the replies as well. But the key here is I said ultra think. And as you can see, they put it in like the rainbow colors. All you need to do in any of your messages is type the term ultra think, and it will force Claude code to think very, very hard about what it's doing and put more effort in the creation. Hitting enter on that will start the process and it is going to make sure that this calendar looks way better than it would before. I wouldn't use ultra think on every single prompt you do. It's going to take a lot longer and you're probably going to burn a lot more tokens than you need to, but any prompts you give where you're doing a complex task or you're solving a complex bug, I would hundred percent use ultra think because you're going to get noticeably better results. This is a really good feature to use when you're kind of building out the base of your app after the first planning phase because you're going to get a way better base to your app. Use UltraThink again down below in the description. The next big feature they released over these last few weeks that I absolutely love is the ability to create custom memories. So before anytime you wanted Claude to remember something, you had to go into your Claude rules and put it there. But that could be challenging at times. I don't always remember to put things into Claude rules or Claude rules can get very crowded and disorganized if you're adding a ton in there. So what I like to do when I have small things I want Claude to remember in its process is to create custom memories for it. So for instance, I want Claude to use the design skill anytime it changes the UI. And I want it to remember that for the rest of the time that I'm working on this app. So what you want to do to create custom memories for Claude is you're going to do the hashtag which changes you to memory mode. So you can say add to memory. And then we're going to say always use the design skill when changing the UI. And then I'm going to hit enter. And now it's going to memorize this. I want to put it into the project memory. So you can do user memory or project memory. I want it to remember it just for this project. I'm going to hit enter there. And now anytime we change the UI in this project, it is going to use that design skill. I actually highly recommend you copy exactly what I just did now 
now. Go pause this video, go into Claude code, do hashtag, and then type in use the design skill anytime you change the UI because the design skill is so friggin' good. It's gonna make your app look so much better. So custom memories anytime you want Claude to remember something that it does every single time in its process, make sure to use custom memories. I highly recommend you do the design skill memory I just did and you can use it moving forward. This next update is a tip for the risk takers out there, but this is putting Claude into YOLO mode. This is the mode it goes into when you don't want to ask you for permission anymore. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Claude for me hasn't made mistakes in months. And I know that might sound crazy, but when you get so used to Claude code that you know how it works, you know how it operates, you know how to talk to it, you really don't mess up with it anymore. Opus 4.5 has gotten so smart, I don't mess up. So I like to use YOLO mode. And the way to do that is you put in this command, Claude dash dash dangerously skip permissions. And then you hit enter on that. And that's going to put Claude in YOLO mode. I'm going to hit accept on this. I would only recommend using this if you are super used to Claude codes. So if you're on the pro side of Claude code, I would do this. This saves me a ton of time. I like to give Claude long running tasks where I can hit enter and walk away and I don't have to keep hitting accept, accept, accept over and over again. This allows me to just do that and treat Claude as an independent employee. I put the command down below. If you're Claude Pro, copy that. If you're an amateur, you're a beginner, I'd say spend a month or two getting used to Opus and how it works and the right prompts to give it. And then when you're comfortable, you can use this command. I'll put that down below. Claude YOLO mode, really, really helpful for saving time. The next big update, and this is a huge one, basically adds an entire app store to Claude code is slash plugins. If you do slash plugins, hit enter, you now have an entire basically store of skills and plugins and MCPs you can put right into Claude code very, very easily. I would highly recommend if you haven't yet, go in here, do slash plugins and go down to front end design. This is the plugin you need if you're building any sort of app. My UIs with my apps I built are a thousand times better because of this skill. So if you haven't installed this yet, do slash plugins, go and discover, go down to front end design and install that. But there's so many other ones. If you use GitHub a ton, if you use any of these others, Figma, Linear, Notion, you have a ton of plugins and MCPs you can get installed with one click that will make it so much easier to work between all your different tools. I couldn't recommend enough. Check out the plugin store and see if you use any of these integrations inside the plugin store. At the very least, get the front end design skill installed. The last update we'll go over here is saving your prompts. If you're anything like me, you come up with an idea, you write a prompt out, and then right before you hit enter, you realize you need to do something else right before you send that prompt, and then you sit there and you hold backspace for five minutes while it deletes your prompt. You don't have to do that anymore. Say you write out a prompt, I want you to build out a calendar, and I realize I need to do something else first, you can now hit Control S, that will stash your prompt, and now after I say something like add a light mode to the app and hit enter, it will take my stash prompt and put it back into the line here so I can send it after. No more sitting there and hitting backspace for five minutes at a time to get rid of your prompts. Now you can just stash your prompt, go in, write whatever else you need to do, and then your stash prompt will then automatically be placed inside your command line so you can use it again. This has saved me so much time. I will put that down below as well. Control S to stash your prompt. Those were the big changes from the last month and they're adding a ton more as we speak. They've been adding new ones every single day. I'm gonna keep an eye on them. I'm going to create more follow-up videos over the next few weeks going over all the additional changes they're coming out with. Make sure to stay on top of this by subscribing, turning on notifications, and leaving a like down below. I also live stream Monday Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you want to see me build apps out in real time with Claude Code as well. So appreciate if you watch the video. Let me know in the replies which of these updates will be the most helpful for you. I'm curious which ones you're going to use. Thank you so much for watching the channel. Every single view and like and all that means the world to me. It's an honor to be creating you educational content. I will see you in the next video.